Hello and welcome to Imperial Wealth. My name is Nat and today we will be exploring a beginner's guide to how Bitcoin mining works. In this video, we're going to be covering topics such as what is Bitcoin mining, how does Bitcoin mining work, and how you can start mining yourself even without needing to host your own hardware. If you'd like to learn how to do that, stick around and we'll show you right now. So what is Bitcoin mining? This topic can be a tricky one for newcomers to cryptocurrency and even those of us who have been in the cryptocurrency space for quite a long time. We're going to try and make it as simple as possible for you. Bitcoin mining refers to the process where a global network of computers running the Bitcoin code work to ensure that transactions are legitimate and added correctly to Bitcoin's blockchain. Mining is also how new Bitcoin is minted and how it enters into circulation. An important function of Bitcoin mining is keeping the network secure. High-powered computers compete to be the first to validate a series of transactions called a block. Once this is done, the block is then added permanently to the blockchain, which is a publicly available ledger. Bitcoin miners are paid transaction fees of 6.25 BTC per block for their efforts. That's if they solve the block correctly. That's around 120,000 US dollars at today's prices. Bitcoin transaction processing is accomplished by expensive and powerful computers whose sole function is to run algorithms and solve mathematical problems that allow their owner to win a Bitcoin block and the revenue that comes along with it. So how does Bitcoin mining work? Verifying Bitcoin transactions and recording them on the blockchain involves solving complex algorithms. This is all part of Bitcoin's proof-of-work consensus mechanism, which aims to add a new block roughly every 10 minutes. The more computing power a miner has, the more likely it is to win blocks. Basically, miners have a chance to earn Bitcoin every 10 minutes based on how much computing power they are willing to use. The very latest Bitcoin mining machines use application-specific integrated circuits, known as ASIC miners, specifically programmed for Bitcoin mining to deal with all the computing power needed. Bitcoin is not the only proof-of-work blockchain that can be mined. There are plenty of other blockchain networks that use the proof-of-work model, such as Dogecoin, Litecoin, Cardina, and up until recently, the Ethereum blockchain, which has just switched over to a proof-of-stake model, which is quite different from the proof-of-work. The current generation of ASIC Bitcoin mining rigs generate possible answers to the Bitcoin block equations at around 100 trillion hashes per second. A Bitcoin hash is a mining measurement of the amount of computing power used on the network to process transactions. So how can you mine Bitcoin? Since the first Bitcoin block in 2009, the energy required to produce the cryptocurrency has increased as the network raises the mining difficulty to keep the flow of new blocks steady even as more miners get involved. Bitcoin mining is usually a large-scale commercial effort run by companies using data centers with purpose-built servers. Mining farms can have many mining computers running simultaneously and are often stored in large warehouses. The main factor that determines whether crypto mining activities are profitable is the cost of electricity to power the mining rigs. Because of this, Bitcoin farms are often located near energy sources like dams, oil and gas wells, solar farms or even geothermal sources. Rewards for mining Bitcoin are reduced by one half, roughly every four years. When Bitcoin was initially mined, one block would earn you 50 BTC. In 2012, this was halved to 25 BTC. By 2016, this was again halved to 12.5 BTC. And on May 11, 2020, the reward was halved again to 6.25 BTC, which is the current level of BTC reward at the time of recording this video. The halving of the Bitcoin rewards is a very important date in the cryptocurrency world and is known as the halvening. 
At the current hash rate, it's looking like the next Bitcoin halving in rewards will happen in roughly March 2024. While it is possible to purchase and run your own Bitcoin mining hardware at home, residential power rates make it difficult for it to be profitable. There are some other factors that also need to be kept in mind. ASIC mining hardware units create a large amount of heat and noise, with some units creating as much as 80 decibels of ambient noise. This can be equated to a vacuum cleaner running in the same room or a food blender. The heat and sound output also is dramatically increased when you stack multiple units together. So soundproofing and cooling systems like air conditioning for the rooms that house ASIC miners need to be factored in. Imperial Wealth currently offer a great way to get started in Bitcoin mining with their hosted mining solutions. You can purchase your own ASIC miner from Imperial Wealth and they will house it in their renewable energy facility, providing lower energy rates than you would get in a residential situation. They also maintain the unit and pay out your mining rewards in BTC month to month over the life of the machine, which is typically five to six years depending on the model. If you're curious about starting your own Bitcoin mining journey, simply book a call with one of the team members at Imperial Wealth and they'll give you all the information you need to get started. You can also browse their website for the current list of available ASIC miners and their daily profitability at today's market prices. And that brings us to the end of this video about a beginner's guide to Bitcoin mining. I hope you found this information valuable. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and do check out our weekly podcast. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>